She give me the love in that me want in me life, huh? She give me the love in that me want. She give me the love in that me want in me life, huh? She give me the love in that me want, yeah. She's slow. You one of the first songs that really touched me uh, was One Drop from from Bob. That's the jam, that one. When I seen her, I... Growing up around reggae music, I was just born into it. You know, my dad and my mother was a Rasta, so. I grew up in the 12 tribes, a Rasta house in Auckland. The 12 tribes is a Rasta faith, and it's all about love. We as Rastas here in New Zealand, you know, we have our own culture and it's a special way of life. Something that I hold dear to me in my heart. You know, since I was born, just surrounded by it pretty much. Yeah, forever, till this day. <laughs> so my pops is uh, the Mighty Asterix, bless our pops. You know, he taught me everything that I knew, you know, he was the one that I grew up watching. You know, hopefully one day I can get on his level, but you know, even to this day, he's still touring with Sal Dub. He's definitely an inspiration for me. I'll say he was, you know, one of the forefathers of, of Ragamuffin here in New Zealand. He was integral in a lot of artists from early 12 Tribes days to Shefu, to myself, all of reggae. You know, he, he's been around and he's, and he's an unsung hero. I love him for everything that he's done for, not only myself, but for everyone in New Zealand. Yeah, watching Dad at Northern Base was mean. You know, he's in his late 50s and he's still got so much energy on stage. It was really awesome to see, actually. I'm, when I go on stage, I'm a bit puffed out. <laughs> but watching Dad on stage, he's jumping around the stage, full Energizer Bunny. You know, hopefully one day I can be on their level too, you know? Awesome. Every time we hear the music, singing that we up in Auckland, moved to Wellies when I was about 13, 12, 13. But Wellies is home now. Upper Heart Moldy Bank represent. Yep, featured P Town in one of my video clips. We're in this love. And that's just to show love for my mum, my aunties and uncles, my nan as well. They all grew up there. So, and I spent a lot of time there when we first moved to Wellies as well. So that was just a big up to all of them and show some love for P Town. I suppose what's special about East Coast Vibes to me is first off the people and just the vibe of the festival and again everybody coming together and seeing all our muso Fano. But this is actually my Fano's homeland, Tokamari Bay, which is about an hour from Gisborne. So it's always choice just to come home and really feel at home too. I don't get to come to Gisborne that much, but I always look forward to East Coast Vibes because it's, you know, it's it's home. Just like I suppose I've kind of always been singing since I was little, pretty much being born and raised around it, but taking music seriously about five years now. I've always had a lot of other things on the priority lists, you know, but music has always been first on my mind, but almost last on my priority list until the last couple of years. Now that I'm on kind of in a space where I can uh, pursue it full time, it's, it's just a blessing. So I suppose my whole life has been lead up to what I'm doing now, pretty much. Oh man, I love working with uh, other musos, eh? I mean, that, that's kind of what it's all about, really, is, you know, being in the music industry, uh, a lot of the times we can be stuck in our grind all the time, so when we do get out to collab with other people, and even going to festivals like East Coast Vibes, it's, it's a big catch-up or whānau. We all know each other, we all collab with each other, and you know, just bringing like-minded people together and working on music is what we love to do, so it takes the experience to another level, so it's me. Each and every time. Woo! He's an awesome response.